This is the Marco. Hello. We got a show in an hour. Hello. to see you here. Surprise, Mr. Mark, I'm here for the stiffs. What? Oh, oh, the patients. Come in, come in, yes. You know, I don't really have a lot of time. Well, they're almost getting. <laughs> I hate to be the one to break it to you, Mr. DeMarco, but they're dead. <laughs> Raymond, stop, you're killing me. Okay. I need uh, Alice Romana and uh, Peter Stewart. They're right here. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, Mikey, you want to back the coffin carriage up to the back door? Sure. Well, it's been a pleasure again, Mr. Michael. Don't be a stranger now. Man, I think all the formaldehyde has gone up to Mr. Marco's head. She's getting real fucking weird. Man, she's always been fucking weird. About what I was saying, about last night? Um, oh yeah, about with uh, Roxanne Camicelli. <laughs> Tell me all the sloppy details. Well, we went to a movie and then we went to dinner. Eh, wrong. Uh-uh, no good. What? Jesus, man, where'd you pick up your dating skills from? A comic book ad? <laughs> you don't go to the movies and, and then go to dinner. Why not? Look. By eating dinner first and then going to the movies, it gives you time to uh, digest your food. So she came full of, phew, I'm stuffed. Oh, thanks for dinner. You know, I want to go home and take a nap now. See? Okay, um, what movie did you see? Kiss of the Spider Woman. <clears throat> Dude, you're all for two. Should have gone to see uh, Teen Wolf or Police Academy 2 or something. Take my advice. Nothing turns a girl off more than the thought of two guys making out. Well, all right. So we're ordering dinner. It's going well. Things are moving on. We're laughing. We're talking. You know, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. So we get our dinner, and it's great. So I uh, kind of let it slip that my favorite show is Punky Brewster. <coughs> what? She, she starts laughing, and she can't stop. And she's just choking and coughing. Well, it sinks in, and she's choking. Oh, shit. So I, I'm thinking, you know, I jump up. I'm thinking we'll do that Heimlich maneuver, like we learned in gym class. So I start doing it. She starts choking and coughing. All the shit starts coming up. And um, she was really grateful, right? Well... Not really. I kind of did it the wrong way. And, uh, oh, shit. Broke a couple of her ribs. Oh, fuck. And she had to go to the hospital. <laughs> okay, I just got one more question. What? Did you give her the flowers before or after the date? Before why? You should have given them to her, you know, after you broke your nose in the hospital. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Hey, Brandon. Come on, they're here. Who? The Stiffs, man. That's who. Oh. Hey, guys. I got a couple of live ones here for you. Ha, ha, Ray. You guys know you're late. Yeah. It's not our fault, man. Mr. Marco, she's flipped. <laughs> yeah. A couple more minutes and old Tombstone's gonna flip. Hey, you tell Mr. Tombstone that if he wants the bodies here faster, he can have the people die here. Or he can pick him up himself, you fucking got that? Are you finished? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Hey, where's Chris? No. Well, well, the boy's got a dick. Man, if Tomb Bomb catches him, he's dead. <laughs> That's his own damn fault. Yeah. Now, will you shut the fuck up? What? What? Look, if you're gonna open your mouth, you better have some. Hey, there. Hey, I'm gonna go try to get his attention. Your ass, man. Hey, hey. Man, what the fuck did I tell you? Oh, shit. Mikey, it's a uh, tombstone. You guys both on the stretch. <clears throat> well, I understand you and Michael had some punctuality problems with the customers. Well, no, sir. We uh, have to. No? Well, yes, sir. You see, we have to. Go. <clears throat> I suggest you get your story straight next time, or this will be your last time. Now, do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Good. Uh, where are your co-workers? Well, um, uh, they're attending to part of business, sir. Uh, such as? Uh, oh, look, here they come. Uh, did you guys fix what needed to be taken care of? Yes, yes, we did. Well, boys, I trust you will keep me informed as to any future problems. Oh, yes, of sir. Of course. Very good. Carry on, then. Man, I didn't get your number. 
stuff. You asshole. You pull another stunt like that, and I'm gonna be taking a piece of your ass. You got that? You got that? Mortuarily for you. Hey Brandon, you get right home, man? Yes, I do. Alright, cool. Um, I'll catch you guys later, alright? Alright. Hey, see you later. See you later. No. I hope you realize what an honor it is to ride and wait on I'm tired. I'll see you boys later. See you, James. Later, James. What are you doing tonight? I think I'm just gonna go on with sock. Man, I know a bitch and fucking party. Hey. There's gonna be wall to wall babes. Thanks anyway, man, but I'm, I'm just not up for it. You're lost. Is that you, James? Yeah. Did you bring the milk? No, I forgot. Oh, James, Lou Williams crying. You want me to go back out? I'll go back out, all right? Oh, shit. I mean, oh, wow. Did, did she leave her number? Uh, yeah, she called from the hospital. Do you know what happened? Uh, you think everything's all right? Probably just a small accident. Oh, really? Uh, I'm, I'm going to go make a call. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Remember, calm, cool, collective. Hey, baby, what's shaking? No, 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 no. Okay. She's not going to be mad at me. She's the one to call me, right? Oh, who am I kidding? Here it goes. Yes, room 214, please. Okay. Okay. Hello? Roxanne, hi. It's Mikey. Remember, you called me? Why haven't you come by to see me? I thought you'd be mad at me for Mad? It. Why? Look, Roxanne, I'm really sorry I broke your ribs. I... Hey, Mikey, chill out. It's all right. You know I'm really grateful to you, don't you? You are? Yes, you saved my life. I owe you a lot. You do? Yeah, that's why I feel bad. I gotta ask you for a favor. Sure, Roxanne. Anything. Well, I obviously can't drive in my condition, so I was wondering if you could pick me up tomorrow. Oh, sure, I. Damn it. <laughs> Get out of here. Mikey, is there something wrong? If there's a problem, no, I No, can... no, it's no problem. What time do you want me to pick you up? Hey, Ray, I really just want Mikey, to say that. Hey, uh... Michael. <laughs> All in good time. <laughs> First, you must learn the basic operating procedures of what I call radar one. Here, hold me on. The 1969 Chevrolet Camaro needs to be with a classic with its uh, 302 Division 2. Hey, look, right, man. It's nice to tell me on this, but I gotta get going, alright? Okay, the basics. Number one, don't fuck up the car. Number two, look at it. That's how I want it back. Okay. And number three, don't fuck up the car. Alright. <laughs> number four, I'm letting you in the car to pick up Roxanne, pick up Roxanne, that's it. Oh, and watch the clutch. I'm working on it, but it's still kind of tricky. Hey, Don't thanks. fuck up the hey, car. Hey, I got it, Ray, man. <laughs> thanks a lot. I really appreciate this. Well, right? You know, the only reason why I'm letting you, Ray, don't want because I know how crazy you are about Roxanne. I mean, if she isn't impressed by this pal, you're in trouble. <laughs> man, just give me the keys. Mm. Here. What's this for? Better roadway vision. Later. <laughs>
Oh yeah, I'm just a little bruised. I'm feeling well. You know, Mikey, I never really thanked you for saving my life. Oh, well, you know, I... Oh, I see. And for picking me up. Roxanne, I know this is sudden, but will you go to prom with me? I'd love to, Mikey. Are you ready to go? Yep. I'll call you? You better. Man, words can't express what I'm feeling. See, man, I told you, it's the car. It has a strange No, effect. no, it's, it's not the car. It's, it's Roxanne. She's... she's... Aw, oh, shit, Mikey. Don't tell me you're in love. <laughs> <laughs> hey, James, check this out. Mikey over here is in love. <laughs> Too bad, man. I feel sorry for you. You have your whole life to love. Why? Why in the hell would you want to waste any of it on your teenage years? I was in love once, but then Scrappy got run over and... Thanks a lot, guys, but I think I can handle it. Well, well, what a surprise. All my workers, assembled and on time. It must be payday. <laughs> morning, Good morning, Mr. Toombaum. Ah, uh, it's a gorgeous day outside. Too bad you'll all be stuck inside, unable to enjoy it. <laughs> First of all, I need parlors one and three dusted. Then, the morgue needs some rearranging to make room for the new equipment. Any volunteers? Hmm, just as I thought. Christopher, Brandon, Charles is downstairs. He'll show you what to do in the morgue. Michael, James, you two start cleaning up parlors one and three. Now feel free to change into your jumpsuits in the closet. Raymond, now you come with me. Shut up. Now, Raymond, I have recently become aware of the fact that you have been here at Tomb Bombs for almost two years now. Am I correct? Oh, yes, sir, I have. And in that time, uh, barring your punctuality problems of late, you have displayed a responsibility that I look for in our workers. That's why I'm very honored to tell you that I'm very close to moving you from parlor worker to parlor supervisor. Uh, well, sir, I must thank you. No, no, don't thank me just yet. You must still prove that you are able to handle the pressure. The pressure? Oh, yes. The pressure of the dead. Now, go ahead and attend to the others. Okay, this guy's a fucking nut job. As I was saying, Mr. Toombaum, is it? Yeah, that is correct. My company is prepared to offer an extremely generous amount for your parlor. As I told you, Mr. Davis, death is my life. I was born and raised from a young lad to whom you see before you today. I must admit, though, that a break from the chaos would be rather nice. Yes. Yes, indeed. The chaos? Well, yes. The chaos of the dead. Well, um, you have my card. If you lose your mind, change your mind. <laughs> okay, all right. Good day, uh, Mr. Davis. All right, same to you. So, Ray, what was uh, Tombstone blabbing about? Well, if you really gotta know, um, Tombstone... Bomb, he's considering me for part of supervisor. No shit. No shit. Oh, no, no, Brandon, son. What are you doing? Sorry, Mr. Charles. Hey, man. Congratulations. Well, I don't have it yet, but, uh... Yeah, I'm thinking, uh, this calls for a celebration. Uh... Oh, come on, man. You deserve it. Well, can't argue with that. All right, then. What do you have to have to work tonight? Another round, fellas? Oh, Stevie, my man. Oh, I, 
I think I'll have a seven and seven. All right. Yeah, I'll see. Right. Right. Hey, Chris. I really gotta thank you, man. Forget about it. No, I mean, I appreciate someone taking the time out to do something like this, you know? Ray, forget about it. It's my pleasure. Hey, if you ever need anything from me, you just say the word, okay? You know, Ray, it's uh, it's funny you should should mention that because I got this question I want to ask you. Hey, fire away. We see proms coming up soon, you know, and I want to show up in this hot set of wheels. Hey. I, I don't know anybody to lend me their car, you know, man. Hey, um, you're in luck, buddy, because my Chevrolet Camaro Z28 is fucking primed and ready to roll. Oh, Ray, I couldn't ask for Radar 1. I mean, hey, I let Mikey drive, okay? So give me one good reason why I shouldn't let you. Ray, I cannot, I am not going to take no for an answer. All right, Ray. You win, man. Where I thought. Mm. Another round, buddy? Sure, Ray. And okay, this time, I'll buy. What's ailing you? Nothing, sir. Just uh, not enough sleep last night, that's all. Hmm, I see. Well, I guess it's as good of a time as any to make an announcement. I'm getting ready to promote Raymond to parlor supervisor. Good job. Congratulations, Ray. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Mr. Toonbaum. Thanks, guys. James Cole to see you, Mr. Brandenburg. Okay. Mr. Brandenburg, James Cole is here to see you. Go right in, please. Thank you. Hi, James. Good to see you. You haven't been here for a while. Um, have a seat. How's it going? Been working a lot, sir. Still over two bombs? Yes, sir. How's that going? It's all right. Looking forward to graduation? I guess so. Is there a problem, James? Something I can help with? No, sir. Well, it has to be hard right now, um, planning out your whole life. Am I right? Yes, sir. You see, I, I want to go to college, but I don't... I don't think my grades are good enough, Ben. Well, let me look at your file. It's right here. Um, you have a 2.8 GPA, which isn't bad. Um, I'm sure you could do better. It's pretty late, but I could help you apply for some scholarships. Why? Because I'm a minority? Because you have ambition and because you're a minority. I know it feels like charity to you, James, but who really cares? If the opportunity's there, why not take it? Might not come back. I'll think about it. Well, don't think too long. All right. See you soon. Yeah, he's in the back. Thanks. Yeah. Well, 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 you finally come around. You got an apron around here for you somewhere? No, man. I gotta talk to you about something. Jocking some honey? No, man, it's nothing like that. Too bad. Yeah, well, how's that school talking about guys? He wants me to apply for some special. Bullshit, Afro American scholarship. I don't want to waste my time. What you think? I think you're stupid. What? Man, things like that don't come around all the time. You gotta grab them when you can. Shit, if I'd had half the opportunities you have now. I thought you liked working here. You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. This place is nowhere. Yeah, I guess you're right. 
you right. Oh, Rick, wouldn't steer you wrong. Did you ever think about going back to school? Hell no! That shit costs money. I don't know, though. Maybe. Keep doing what you're doing, man. You know me. Always a tease, easy to please. Mom, I'm ready. Oh, Mikey, you're so handsome. Wait, wait, I gotta get a picture. Oh, darn, I'm out of film. Too bad, gotta go. Oh, no, I bet I want to get one of you and Roxanne. Look, Mom, we're going straight to the dance. I'm sure she won't mind. Oh, Mom, I... Well, okay. Well, I'm gonna go pick up Roxanne. We'll be right back. Hi, Mikey. Hi, Roxanne. You look marvelous. Mikey, shut up. No, really. Do you mind if my mom took a picture of this? She's real sentimental. It'll only take a minute. You know, it's a funny thing you should mention that, Roxanne. Chris, why do you have to leave the prom so early? I thought we were having a good time. Yeah, you know, prom is fun and all, but I know something a little more exciting. Like what? Mm. Oh, that. No, no, Chris, Chris, wait. I, I want to do it. Come on. Not, not in a car. Come on. No, no, come on. Let's go somewhere. Where are we going to go? I'm... I know the place. Gee, I bet Mikey and Chris are having fun at the prom. Well, why the hell didn't you go? Couldn't talk to a girl. She might slap me like last time. Hey man, don't sweat the simple shit. Look, you fall down, you get back up. If you don't graduate this year, you just let me know and I'll get you a check for next year's prom, okay? Really? Yeah, man. Wow. Where are we? This is my place. I thought you lived in Ladue. I do. This is where I work. Is this a funeral parlor? Yeah. Wow. Creepy. But it turns me on. Great. Let's go. What's the big deal? It's just a corpse. Just a corpse? No, Chris. It's, it's disgusting. I'm... I'm just, I thought it turned you on. No, no. I, please, take me home. You want to go home? Yes. Fuck. You know, all right. You want to go home? Let's go home. Aren't you forgetting something? I don't think so. Headlights, Chris. The headlights. Huh? What? It must be a full moon! Oh shit, Brandon, come on, I think somebody's told their cottage, what you get out? You fucking dumb shit! Oh god! I knew it, Ray, I man. I fucking knew it! Ray, I'm sorry, man. 
Well, I'll pay for it all. I promise I'll pay for you it all, man. You better fucking believe you will, damn it. Now, Raymond, just calm down. Calm down. Calm. Fuck, man, that's my fucking life's worth there. It's fucking total. Now, Raymond, I understand your distress, but you no, have to... No, I don't think you understand, sir. Chris, I'm going to kick you fucking... Ray, man, I'm sorry. I'm now, sorry. Raymond, now, Raymond, a partner supervisor would not conduct himself in this manner. Oh, a partner supervisor wouldn't conduct himself in this manner. Well, how's this? Fuck you, sir. Fuck you, Chris. Fuck this place. Fuck this job! Oh, and fuck your mole! Wait, 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 man! Come on, you don't wait! You fucking exist, man! So I guess you guys got the call too, huh? Seven thirty sharp. I bet it has something to do with Ray. Great going, Einstein. You think of that one, all cool, cool guys. Yeah. Well, boys, I'm glad to see you all assembled here and on time. Now, I have an important announcement to make concerning the sudden loss of Raymond, our former parlor supervisor. But first, a moment of silence. He's not dead. And now, it's my pleasure to introduce to you Edward Dweezdick, our temporary replacement. Hey, guys, I'm really... Really... Looking forward to working with all of you. Excellent. Well, I'll just go ahead and let you boys get acquainted. So, Eddie, you familiar with what we do here? Well, not really an expert in the situation, but I, uh... <laughs> I adapt well. Mm-hmm. Let's go to work. Yes. The corpses. I, I just didn't know we were going to have to deal with that. Yeah, it gets easy once you get the hang of it. What's easy? The gutting. Gutting? Should we make it, Mikey? Yeah. Hey, it's the only way he's going to learn. I just... Hey, what's wrong? I think I, I'm going to... Oh. Here. Take these, stock them over there. Hey, can you remember where Ray's at? Uh, yeah, he's uh, over there. Hey man, Ray, I got a surprise for you. Come on, take a look. Us. No, trust me, man, you want to see this. Come on. Come on. What the hell? <laughs> man, I couldn't even afford the deductible. It was Chris, man. He got his old man to cough up the dough for the repairs he'll never see. Damn straight. Hey, so what do you say, man? You gonna come back to two bombs? Man, you gotta be fucking nuts. I told you, man. Love really does a number on your head. <laughs> man, the temp, Eddie. He's worse than Brandon, if you can believe that. <laughs> Brandon's back to one word sentences, man. You gotta come back and straighten that boy out. Uh, hey, even if I wanted to, I mean, there's no way. I mean, I really laid it into old tombstones. No? <laughs> hey, man, tombstones taking a leap of absence. So oh, you're, shit. You're all Bullshit. <laughs> no, man, he's for real. We got this woman from county. She's a bitch. Damn, she's hot. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess it could have handled the pressure. <laughs> pressure? Pressure. Oh, yes, the pressure of the dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, um, I guess you got me. I mean, you guys got to build me hey. up. You know, make me look good for this shit. Back to work. You know, you can take these snacky pads and learn yourself. Because I'll fucking quit. Let's go. All right. <laughs> 